I'm Missouri women's basketball coach Robin Pinchton, and you're watching Big12Sports.com. Hello everybody and welcome to the Big 12 Report presented by Dr. Pepper. I'm Sean Dory and rejoining me this week after a week-long sabbatical is Big 12 correspondent Wendell Barnhouse. Wendell, it's good to see you got a little tan on the beach. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> well you know the, the old guy is back. Yeah, yeah I, watched, I watched last week's show. I watched, okay? Well why don't you tell the people what you were doing while you were out? I actually was, uh, I was legitimately on assignment. I uh, was doing a story about uh, Big 12 basketball officiating. Kind of had an all-access pass to a couple games and followed some officials around and uh, uh, it was pretty interesting and so I was out when uh, we were taping the show last week and wasn't able to be here but you guys did a great job. Thank you. Well, fans, you can look for that Big 12 referee feature from Wendell on Big12Sports.com. But now on to this week's show. We've passed the halfway point of the basketball season, and there have been plenty of highlight reel dunks already. We sent our own video whiz, William Draper, out to talk to some of the highest flyers in the Big 12 about their thunderous dunks. Call it what you want, the in-your-face disgrace, thanks Daryl Dawkins. Slam, stuff, throw down, flush, posterize, send it in Jerome. The dunk is college basketball's go-to highlight, the crowd pleaser that raises the roof. We talked to some of the Big 12's highest flyers about what it's like to rattle the rim. It's relieving anger. <laughs> Built up anger is just forceful. Yeah, I feel like I black out sometimes when I dunk. Really oh, oh, yeah, I don't see nothing for a quick two seconds in. And the next thing I just hit the crowd, you know, reaction, so that, and then I want another one. <laughs> a breakaway dunk offers the opportunity to be alone with the ball in the basket, but the players agreed the best dunks were the ones that were challenged by defenders. You just dunk on somebody, it's like, you cannot stop me. It's two powerful forces going up at the same time, and me overpowering you. This is like, I just dominated you. Um, you get more hype, you know, break right dunk, everybody know what you're gonna do, you, you know, you're gonna dunk it. But when you go like drive to the hole and nobody expect it, and you just, somebody try to jump with you and you dunk on them, it'll give you more. On somebody it feels amazing, it's incredible. Uh, it's exciting, my heart pumps. Uh, by myself, uh, it's just, just like two points. Baylor's Quincy AC has wild Bears fans for four years with his dunking ability. I just love dunking on people. AC was asked to complete this sentence. When I jump, uh, move, <laughs> get out the way. We asked the players if dunking was like hitting a home run in baseball or scoring a long touchdown in football. Baylor's Perry Jones III had the perfect answer when discussing slam dunks. A grand slam in baseball. Grand slam. For the Big 12 Digital Network, I'm William Draper. Thanks, William, for that report. Fans, if you can't get enough of the above rim action, check out our new feature on Big12Sports.com. We call it the Big 12 Dunk Reel. It highlights the most rim-rattling dunks from the past week of Big 12 Hoops action. While dunks certainly cause a stir on the basketball court, football's most hype-filled day off the gridiron occurred this week as recruits around the country put pen to paper on National Signing Day. The day was a very successful one for Big 12 schools as Scout.com ranked the recruiting classes of seven league schools among the top 40 in the nation. For complete football signing day coverage of all 10 Big 12 teams, check out our page at Big12Sports.com. Well, Wendell, I feel like I've been talking a lot today. I'm going to pass the mic over to you now for your world famous shout outs. Well, first of all, on this first one, I'll try to stick the dismount. I'm going to talk about Missouri's gymnastics team, which upset number four Nebraska Saturday in Lincoln. It was the first regular season victory for Missouri over the Cornhuskers since 1995. The Tigers have started the season 4-0 for the first time in program history. And Iowa State won the Cyhawk Series Trophy with Iowa thanks to the Cyclones' victory in women's gymnastics over the 24th-ranked Hawkeyes last Friday. For my second shout-out, I'll also talk a little bit about Iowa State. Now, Hilton Magic is back, although those in central Iowa will say it never left. Coach Fred Hoiberg's team is alone in fourth place in the Big 12 thanks to three consecutive home court victories. 
It got started on January 18th when Scott Christofferson beat the buzzer for a game-winning three-pointer. Tuesday night, Royce White's basket with two seconds remaining gave Iowa State a 72-70 victory over Kansas State. And in between, last Saturday, the Cyclones got national attention by knocking off fifth-ranked Kansas. That victory sent the fans on the court, and earlier in the week, Oklahoma State's fans stormed the floor at Gallagher-Iba Arena when the Cowboys stunned number two Missouri. And my final shout out involves one of the most anticipated basketball games in the Big 12 so far this season. Number eight Kansas will be at number four Missouri Saturday for a prime time game. ESPN's game day will be in town. It's the toughest ticket ever in Columbia. Courtside seats are being scalped for $1,500 each. Now the Tigers could pull into a first place tie with a victory. 1990 was the last time these rivals met when both were ranked in the top 10. And with Missouri moving to the SEC next season, this might be the last time the Jayhawks play in Columbia for a long time. And if you search YouTube for We Are Mizzou and We Are KU, you'll find some student produced rap videos about the rivalry. And on this topic, sorry Mizzou, but Kansas, two thumbs up guys. It's definitely gonna be one Rockets crowd at Mizzou Arena. Let's hope the game lives up to the hype. But that's it for this week's show. For Wendell Barnhouse, I'm Sean Doy. Thanks for joining us on the Big 12 Report presented by Dr. Pepper. And remember, you can stay up with all things Big 12 at Big12Sports.com or join the conversation on our Facebook or Twitter pages. Thanks and have a great week.